video we will discuss the implementation of circular queue as we all know circular queue is a data structure in which the elements are stored in a circular fashion okay i'll roughly draw the circular queue over here for better understanding of concept of circular queue okay let's say this is my queue you assume that it's a circle huh? please my drawing skills are very poor sorry for that okay so here is a circle right so uh, in this circular queue i can insert the elements like this 10 20 30 40 and 50 so this queue is of size 5 that means five elements i can store now you know that associated with the queue data structure there are two pointers front pointer and rear pointer the pointer or the end from which the element is deleted is called the front pointer or front end so let's say if this would be the front end and this will be the rear end okay if i have straightened this code this queue i mean if i make this as a linear queue 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay so if i straight on this queue then it will be like this this will be my front end and this will be the rear end the end from which you insert the elements in the queue is called the rear end and the end from which you delete the element from the queue is called front element okay so this is my front element same this queue i have just circular circular made it circular and it will look like this okay so i'll erase out this linear queue and will focus on our circular queue concept so this is what is my circular queue now associated with this queue there are two operations that is insertion or addition of element insert or add the element in the queue and second is delete the element from the queue okay delete or remove the element from the queue as we know the basic as insertion is done by the rear end and deletion is done by the front end okay with this basic let us start understanding the code here is a code with me for implementing the circular queue okay we'll see each operation one by one i'll start first of all from the add operation that is insert operation okay how to insert the element in the queue okay before that we will just uh, first of all see how my uh, main function looks like this is my main i'll make it clear so that okay so this is my main in main i have got various choices as insert delete and display so there are three choices i can have insertion of the element okay for that i am calling the add function add item function here i am getting the element from the user enter the element which you want to insert in a queue so this element will be uh, passed to the add routine add routine is written over here this routine helps us to insert the element in my queue okay then uh, second case is delete delete performs deletion of the element from the queue third choice is display and lastly i have got the choice as uh, exit okay we can quit from the main and recursively if we want to perform various operation as insertion deletion Uh, of the elements in the queue then i have applied the do while loop okay so that recursively i can call the menu main menu and i can perform the operation in any manner i want okay i can have multiple insertions multiple deletions in any manner and finally i can display my queue so this is how my main routine works let us understand each operation one by one so we will start with insertion of the element of uh, in my circular queue for simplicity right now i'll take size as 3 okay so uh, 
size of 3 means I want only 3 elements to be there in my circular cube. Initially you can see front is initialized to minus 1 and rear is initialized to 0. Let me draw the circular cube of size 3. Oh my god. Again I have to draw a circular cube. Okay. So this is my circular cube with the size as 3. That means this is 0, this is 1 and this is 2. Okay. So, uh, initially my front value is minus 1. So, I will have front equal to minus 1 and rear as 0. So, rear will be equal to 0. So, here is the rear pointer. Okay. Now, uh, as soon as I call the add routine, here is my add routine. Yeah. Here is my add routine. As soon as I call the add routine, for simplicity, I will first of all shift this empty method before deletion. Because it is more related with the empty. Empty uh, method is more related with the delete operation and with add operation, Q full condition is related. Okay. So, now it is easy for me. First of all, when control comes over here, Okay, whenever I call the add routine, that means I want to insert some element with some element, with some item. Let's say I want to have, I want to insert item 10. So, my item value will be equal to 10. Okay, so first of all, it will check the queue full condition. Control will go over here. It will check the queue full condition. What queue full condition checks? It checks if front equal to rear plus 1 mod size. Now, front is minus 1. I want to check whether re, uh, this minus 1 is equal to re, current rear plus 1 mod size. Now you know that here we, we have taken size equal to 3. Okay. So rear plus 1 mod size. Rear is 0. So 0 plus 1 mod size. Rear that means 0 plus 1 mod size means 1 mod size is 3. So 1 mod 3 is 1. So this value comes out to be 1. This value comes out to be 1. And front's current value is minus 1. That means both are not matching. That means it will go to else part and return 0. Okay. That means Q is not full. Okay. So this condition gets false. Control will come over here to the else part. Okay. Now, I will erase out this. Okay, it will come at the else part. At the else part, it will check if front is minus 1. Yes, front is minus 1 at this point. So, set your front and rear equal to 0. So, I will set my front and rear to be. Here, I will set my front equal to 0 and rear is equal to 0. So, both front and rear are pointing to 0th location. And at this location, you have to, yes, so here, it will have, since this part is executed, set front equal to rear equal to 0, control will come over here, since if part is being executed, and it will place the item at Q rear position. Q rear position is this, it is pointing to this, this is my Q, this is my Q array queue. Okay. So, this circular queue at this rear position item will be placed. Item is 10. So, at 0th position the uh, element 10 will be placed. So, this is how first insertion of the element has done. Okay. So, this suppose again if I want to insert more element. So, this is my front. This is my rear. Again if I call uh, insertion routine for the element 20, I will have item equal to 20 now once again. So, I will take item equal to 20. Okay. I will enter in the loop once again in the add operation. In add operation, first of all, I will check Q full condition. As you know, Q full condition states, checks if front equal to rear plus 1 mod size. 
so front equal to zero yes so it is zero rear plus one mod size rear is also zero so zero plus one mod size that means zero plus one mod three comes out to be one one mod three is one okay so zero is not matching with this one this uh, uh, value comes out to be one so zero and one are not matching that means it will go to else part and return zero over here so zero means q is not full so it will come to else part in the else part it will check now your front equal to minus one no my front is zero it is pointing to zero so it will again come to else part and here it will set rear equal to rear plus one mod size so now my rear value will be set as rear plus one zero plus one mod size size is three so mod three that means one mod three is equal to one mod three equal to one so that means my new rear value will be equal to one rear value will be equal to one so my this rear will be shifted from this end and it will point over here this will be my rear so this will be my rear value okay front is again i will write here over here front will be this this will be my front okay zeroth location so i have got with me front value as zero and rear value as one rear value as one and over here then we can have the placing of item that means at q of rear i can have q of rear i can have the item q of rear this is the position it is pointing at this position place item that means i can insert 20 over here in this manner so my 20 also gets inserted in the circular okay again suppose i want to have one more element to be inserted in my queue let's say i want to insert item 30 so i'll take item equal to 30 item equal to 30 this is my front this is my rear item equal to 30 once again when it will come over here it will check the queue full condition what queue full conditions checks it checks control will go over here back to my queue full condition it will check if front equal to rear plus one more size front value is zero rear is one rear plus one rear plus one more size what is rear rear is one one plus one more size that means two more three two more three comes out to be two so this equation comes out to be two and front value is zero front value is zero both are not matching that means it will enter in the else part and return zero over here since q full is not true that means it is returning zero value it will enter in the else part in the else part it will again check if if front is minus one no front value is zero that is not minus one so it will go to else part else part suggests us rear equal to rear plus one mod size that means set your rear set your rear value as rear plus one mod size what is rear rear is one so my new rear value will be equal to rear plus one mod size okay so one plus one mod size comes out to be two mod three comes out to be two so my new rear value will be equal to two two means this okay and at that point at this rear point so my new rear will be two not one now i am setting this new rear over here okay so new rear will be two okay now at this point at this new rear place your item in a queue so item is 30 i am placing this item at this location this is how I have inserted item 30 as well. So, this way I have filled up my circular queue. Suppose if I have called once again the insertion operation. Okay, that means again I have called the add routine. I want to add 
वन मोर टाइम सम आइटम लेट्स से माय आइटम इज फोर्टी नाउ सो आई वांट टू इंसर्ट आइटम फोर्टी इन अ सर्क्यूलर क्यू वॉट विल हैपन नाउ लुक केयरफुली हियर वी हैव टू मेट द क्यू फुल कंडीशन हाउ इट इज मेट सी Uh, I'll come with the value forty over here. Control will come here. It will check the queue full condition. In queue full condition, it will go back and it will check whether front equal to rear plus one mod size. Now currently rear is equal to two. Two plus one mod size. Two plus one mod size. Size is three. Okay. We have taken considered the size of three element. So three mod three equal to zero. So this equation comes out to be zero. Current front value is zero. Both are matching. That means it will return one. It will return one and come over here. That means this condition gets true. One means true. Okay. So this condition gets true. That's why it will simply print the message circular queue is full and it will exit from this add operation add function. So this is how item forty won't get inserted in my circular queue. Simply at this time it will display a message that uh, circular queue is full and so item forty won't get inserted. Fine. this is how the addition operation or insertion of element into the queue works now we will move ahead for the deletion operation